so many digital snitches. Just a quick note, if you are a little paranoid, this little commentary will only make it worse. You have been warned. Have you ever had a brief conversation in the privacy of your own home about a sensitive subject? Maybe you're discussing the lice outbreak at Junior's Preschool, or the realization that there seems to be more hair on your face than on your head. And then, a few moments later, while you're wasting time on Facebook, an ad pops up advertising lice shampoo, or baldness cures, or worse. I recently mentioned to my wife that it was time to replace the furnace air filter. That evening, several Google ads started showing me deals on air purifiers and filters for my HVAC system. So many digital snitches. Have you got a Google Dot, an Alexa, or other smart speaker in your home? How about your TV or your security cameras? Yep. In addition to your web browser and internet searches, your gadgets are keeping tabs on you. And your credit cards, online purchases, and other financial information. They know what you buy, how often you buy it, and they know this better than you do. Yeah. I already know about that stuff. If they want to snoop, they're going to get really bored, you might say. Well, I get that. My lifestyle is pretty boring, too. However, as they say on the late night infomercials, but wait, there's more. <laughs> it is not just the obvious suspect snitching on you. Oh no, there is more. Et tu, Brute? Your robot vacuum, for instance. That's right. These little critters map out the floor plan of your home to better understand and more efficiently do their job of dust bunny assassination and crumb sucking. Unfortunately, it has been revealed that the vacuum does not keep this information to itself. Many, if not all manufacturers, download that information and sell it on to whoever. And there's a lot about you that can be extrapolated from the floor plan of your home. Worse yet, some of these sneaky little rats have night vision capable 360 degree cameras so they can navigate your home better. Avoid obstructions, of course. Own brand, made by the manufacturer Dongguan from China, has been proven to be easily hackable so that someone outside your home can watch you. Here is another marvel of modern engineering that spies on you. The wonderful, long-lasting, electricity-saving LED light. As a specific example of how they can watch you, almost 200 of these lights have been tied into a network at Newark Liberty International Airport. They help the cameras know better when and where to look at and watch people and gather license plate information. And here's another little snitch who's watching you. One I would have not even thought of. Perhaps it's because when I'm on my computer, I already know that nothing is private. Well, in Singapore in 2012, it was found that an employer had equipped their workers with a mouse that had a tiny microphone and a SIM card. In other words, the employer could dial in at any time to an employee's mouse and listen to every conversation within 30 feet. I know where you are. I know where you've been. And then there's the smartwatch. Yep, today's smartwatch does so much more than count your steps and calculate the number of calories you burned. It also tracks your route. It knows if you're in a car or a bus or an airplane. It knows where you've been. And it can, with reasonable accuracy and with repetition, figure out your passwords and PIN numbers by the movement of your wrist. It can also relay calls and texts to you from your mobile phone and generally make it impossible for you to find a quiet moment. 
Oh, and it can let you know that you're having a heart attack and contact someone else in case you need to let them know too. So I don't know. Maybe the trade-off is worth it after all. By monitoring the GPS data on smart fitness watches, the location of several top secret locations were identified as their wearers went out for daily runs around the perimeter of the location. Oops. <laughs> it makes you wonder, do I have a private life? With all the devices, cameras, satellites, my vacuum cleaner, and other gadgets, is that even possible? Okay, excuse me a second. It seems my re oh, my refrigerator is reminding me that I'm almost out of ice cream. <laughs> what is a private life? Well, just as with any tale, there are many little outsized nuggets of wisdom to be uncovered here. But for now, may I suggest just this one? Here's an ounce from our little anecdote about how everyone is being monitored. It's true. Today, the observation and gathering of information is pretty much everywhere and all the time. It is a nearly unavoidable part of modern life. However, have you considered how much of a generational change it really is? I mean, really? Haven't we always been under surveillance of one type or another? If you've ever lived in a small town, or been part of a family or have close friends, you know what I mean. And with attitudes like, it's a victimless crime, or what I do in my private life doesn't affect anyone else. It seems some of us would like to believe we have never been anything but unwatched and autonomous. Never really impacting anyone or anything. And for some, that's the dream. Reality check. What you do in life will always have an impact on others. Even a life that has come and passed unnoticed by the world. It impacted someone. And your deeds and how you behave, they follow you everywhere, all the time. It shows in your face and your attitudes and how you interact with others. Who you have become is written in your countenance. And consciously or not, others do see it. But there is really great news. You have the power to change everything. Who you are right now, regardless of your past, and who you will become in the future is completely up to you. Everyone sees you. And gratefully, most of us are looking for the good. So be good. And when you think no one else is watching, <laughs> and that's it, an ounce submitted for your consideration. Thank you for watching this little video. Really appreciate you coming along on this journey. And if you enjoyed this video, can you take just a second, give us a like, maybe even subscribe or take the time to share this with some of your friends. It helps the algorithm and YouTube make it easier for others to discover us as well. And we really appreciate it. Thanks.